it's always interesting here on roofs in Sydney and this is the particularly challenging one or maybe not so challenging the story is that it's in part of an insurance claim basically there's been a leak at the rear of this house and there's a badly cracked tile because we've got the TV air well and one of the anchors has caused the tile to crack near the solar panels an insurance company has been called and they've identified where the problem is and supposedly done a repair but in the report they've said there's other maintenance issues that's got to be attended to before the insurance company will do the work on the inside and one of these was the ridge capping had no weep holes so the report said drill weep holes so the owner has said can weep holes be drilled because normally we would rebed this ridge with weep holes and then repoint um, and clear the weep holes so this ridge would be correctly repaired with weep holes the report stated that weep holes could be drilled out so one of our challenges today is to find out whether weep holes can in fact be drilled out on a roof like this so this is a roof that's been painted been restored not a very good restoration job and what they do is with roof restoration is they repoint the ridge capping and when they do that they normally block up the whip holes if there were any whip holes to start off with so our challenge here today is to figure out whether there are any whip holes that has been blocked up and if they are can we drill through them so as you can see here this is where it's been repointed and we don't know which side the old whip holes have been uh, if there are any whip holes so what we're going to do is attempt to find out which side has the whip holes and see where they can be drilled out one of the reasons why you need to put whip holes in is exactly that so the water gets in that crack runs down there and because this is fully sealed water that gets in cannot come out and that's why you need whip holes in here to whip out the water that runs in this crack now the ideal way to drill out whip holes is a long 300 millimeter mortar bit 6.5 millimeters in diameter and you can see that there is that much of a gap between the chuck and the nose of this tile so that can go in right there and hopefully that will clear the width of the bedding and go right through so the challenge now is to, is to decide whether we are going to be right hand or left hand for the whip hole so we'll try here on the right hand side once we start the hole we're going to go parallel to the tile there's no percussion only rotary and through. so there we are right through see that again see that we're going right through the tile see the distance there so we've created this weep hole and it's on the right hand side so chances are if we do the next one see how easy it is it's just there's no resistance right at the end I mean we've gone right through the bedding so we've chosen the right hand side luckily So there we are, I think we've proven successfully that we can drill whip holes in without destroying the bedding or the pointing. Sometimes drilling whip holes 
does actually work.